one thing about the truth you will stand alone <laughs> and uh that's exactly what's happening with monique right now good morning good afternoon good evening family welcome 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 to the mental house with me your host khadija as a matter of fact i think uh, people may be seeing the monique situation a little different um it's like the old saying don't kill the messenger well monique is from Bmore, and they just got a way of rubbing you the wrong way but I respect her for standing in her truth. That's what I respect. And that's what a lot of y'all don't want to give her credit for. When you think about what she said, I want to go back to Club Shay Shay. And I want to say shout out to you again, Brother Shannon, for delivering another one. We lie so much, but then we tell our kids not to lie. And we think that's a healthy environment and a healthy way of living we can't figure out a way as adults to tell the truth because we say oh 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 let's let's don't do that let's let's you know don't 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 do that you know don't just put it out there but you will tell your child and give your child a whooping for lying you see this society has made you crazy and this is what we don't want to address. If we say the dominant society is psychotic and then we buy into everything that they do, hook, line, and sinker, what is that saying about us? It ain't our fault. But we've been raised by people that speak with forked tongues. And so now it's, it's okay for people to speak with forked tongues and y'all think it's all right. Like, I know y'all don't want to hear me give no more uh, commentary about Tiffany Henyard. And I, I, I respect that. I can tell by the looks. I mean, the likes and the, the views that y'all didn't appreciate that. Maybe it's overkill. But for her to be sitting up here comparing herself now, I'm talking about Rosa for a minute. I mean, yeah, that's what she called herself. Tiffany Shootouts going on in her town. Police killing 19-year-olds. She got all the, the police servicing her. And then she says she's like Martin Luther King. She's like Malcolm X. She's like Rosa Parks. She's like Harriet Tubman. This is unacceptable. These are lies. Okay? And so when somebody stand up and say, is you crazy? You ain't nothing like them. You ain't. Then they got to be silenced. Same thing with Monique. I'm from the town with Oprah. Oprah went to school with my, well, she's deceased now. I know a few people that went to uh, school with Oprah, including the Finlaysons, including, oh, uh, matter of fact, a few uh, prominent families. Uh, that's black. That's always been here. Doc, doctors, black doctors. She was bust over there. I remember when she went to Fifth Street School with my cousin. Oprah has always been shifty. Okay? And now that she's been called to attention by somebody that don't even live uh, didn't come up with her and watched her behavior as a kid. Just like Monique says, she the same way. Oprah is the same way. If you talk to anybody from Milwaukee and ask them how did Oprah manage at Nicolet High School and Fifth Street School, how did what was her behavior? They'll tell you the same thing. And because she could read really well, she pretty much didn't like. Uh, her her lot or environment or at least that's what they seem to think about her okay I, this is their opinion about her so you're hearing it third party right now but the bottom line is her ways and actions right now are speak loud speaking just as loud as her words back then you got a a, a situation where dl hughley 
then got fighting mad. Monique's a liar. Monique's hit dog holler. A hit dog will holler. And one thing about it, when you're dealing with extreme narcissists, whether you're talking about uh, Tiffany Henyard, whether you're talking about D.L. Hughley, who think it's okay to tell a story about his baby being dead uh, uh, before it gets out and then think that, that he represented himself as a man. No, he didn't. He represented himself as a coward. Yes, he did. Or the way he handled that situation with his daughter. If you want to tell the truth, I felt the same way when he said it. See, so we got to get real with some. What it is is crypt. The truth is like kryptonite to people that don't want to walk that narrow path. I've had to give an account to, for my lies or give an account to my thoughts and or be held accountable for them. What make them any different? Donald Trump up here lying every freaking day, and you got people that sit right up in his face and won't say nothing about it. This is a sick society. But if you stand in the truth, it ain't got to be your truth. It ain't no your truth. In my, it's just one truth. And if you stand in it, and you know you're not hypocritical, then my hats go off to you. God bless you, Monique. God bless you. And I'm, I hope you feel better getting that monkey off your back. Because you need it to release. And I'm glad that you're going on tour. The truthful tour with Cat Williams. <laughs> All right. Now, a lot of y'all might not like this. So I'm open to hear your opinion. Because I know you don't want to hear no more about the city girl mayor. Cause, but that's, that's a story in itself. Why do we act this way? But I'll see you in the next video.